As a bartender, how many drinks do you, the viewer, think I need to know how to make in order to do my job well? Seriously, take some time to think about it. I'll wait. Ready? The correct answer is two. It's true. There are only two drinks a skilled bartender needs to know. Sours and aromatics. Now, of course, I'm oversimplifying. Good bartenders need to know how to make hundreds of drinks, but most drinks fall easily into two categories. Drinks with some sort of citrus juice or sours and drinks that are all alcohol, aromatics. No, a whiskey sour is not a Tom Collins. And yes, the old fashioned Manhattan and Negroni are very different drinks. And while we're at it, flips and highballs don't fall into either category, but the vast majority of cocktails do. Which raises the question, if you want a boozy aromatic cocktail with a citrus note, you can't use lemon juice because it'll compromise the thick silky texture of the drink. So what do you do? Enter Nardini Citrone Liqueur. Citrone is an original citrus and is the ancestor of lemons and limes, both of which are hybrids. Light nose, otherwise it smells more or less the way you think it would. Very lemony and very sweet. Honestly, it tastes like those lemon heads candies I was hooked on as a kid. It's also a fix I've been looking for for a long time. I've been trying to make cocktails based on desserts that I've had, most of which contain lemon curd or some other sort of lemon extract, and now I have an ingredient to plug into those experiments. Now let's make a drink. This is a 50-50 martini, but instead of equal parts gin and vermouth, I split the vermouth with a citron liqueur. I'll leave the recipe below. No, this is not my drink. I stole it from this guy. Beautiful. Perfect drink for a warm afternoon. Dry vermouth balances with the Nardini. Great drink. Let's make another. Drink number two. This one's bourbon, fernet, and the citron. That is a stiff drink. Again, very well balanced. The sweet lemoniness of the citron is not overpowered by the fernet, and the bourbon provides a really solid foundation. Orange zest rounds it out. I am not gonna lie, I just kind of farted this one out and it came out really good. Yeah, I would definitely have this one again. I may make it with chocolate bitters next time. Yeah. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice of professionals, and I hope the rest of your day is as good as mine's about to be. Stay safe, follow the advice of professionals, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day as about to much about to be.